about time to give them service. Let's say we do appreciate your presence. Let's stand and out the blessing of the Lord in our midst. Lord, as we come before you, we're most thankful for another opportunity you've given us to us to enter the house of the Lord. We ask for your leadership. We pray for your guidance. We ask for those that are sick and body. They'd receive healing. We ask for the lost to be saved, for your people to be blessed, uplifted, and encouraged. The divine will of God be accomplished within our midst. Glory the Lord to fill this sanctuary and all within us. We worship you in spirit and truth. Give honor and glory unto your name. That hill and earth the flow. And Lord, those that are lost to be saved. In Jesus' name, amen. I like to stay here longer and man's a lot in day and was a bleeding changes of life's uneven ways. But if my savior calls me that sweet home on high. Delivered and 
the king then saw rebels of heaven be the man they lost. Rebels of heaven, oh how sweetly they ring, bearing a message unto Jesus the king. When you are burdened down with trouble and care, bring on and all for God will Paul and Silas both were thrown in jail. They did not worry who would go their bail. But on the prayer bells they began to ring. Up fell the stocks and they began to sing. Prayer bells of heaven, oh how sweetly they ring. Bearing our message unto Jesus the Trouble and care, bring God and offer God will answer your prayer. Into the garden, Jesus went to pray until he sweat and came as blood. They say, bring in the prayer bells there in agony, bring in salvation that we might be free. Trouble and chaos, bring on and offer God who lets to your prayer. Into the Lord and Jesus went to pray until his sweat became as blood. They say, bring in the prayer bells there in agony, bring in salvation that we might be free. They ring, bearing a message unto Jesus the King. When you are burned down with trouble and care, will ring on and all for God will answer your prayer. Thank you, Lord. Well, bless that wonderful name. Of Jesus, bless that wonderful name of Jesus, bless that wonderful name of Jesus, no other name I know, salvation's in the name of Jesus, salvation's in the name of Jesus, salvation's in the name of Jesus, no other name I know, well I'm gonna bless that wonderful name of Jesus, I'll bless that wonderful name of Jesus, bless that wonderful name of Jesus, no other Of Jesus, healing in the name of Jesus. No other name, I know. Well, come on and bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. There's power in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. No other name I know. Well, I'm going to bless that wonderful name of Jesus. 
of Jesus. Victory in the name of Jesus. No other name I know. Well, come on and bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. No other name I know. Well, I'm going to bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. There is liberty in the name of Jesus. Yes, liberty in the name of Jesus. Liberty in the name of Jesus. No other name I know. Come on and bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. There is mercy in the name. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, mercy in the name of Jesus, no other name I know. Well, I'm going to bless that wonderful name of Jesus. I'll bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. You're worthy to be praised. If you think 
song that Brother Will, I think, and maybe a couple of homecomings ago that we had, and I think he told mm. me he liked this song, so Brother Will, I'm going to try this for you. <laughs> for the Lord, first of all, and for Brother Will. Pray for me. Empty and broken, I can't to be in the house of God tonight. Are you glad you saved? Amen. Hallelujah. Washed in the blood. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I'm telling you, the Lord is so real. He's so good. Bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Uh, Sister Tammy says that. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. I tell you, this is something will move on you anywhere you're at. You don't have to be in church for this to move on you. You can be down on the street and it'll move. Bless the name of the Lord. Well, the Lord is good, ain't he? I ain't never tried to sing this song, so if I mess up, you all pray for me. Well, there ain't no grave.
saints of every race shall behold his face and with him enter heaven's city ever to acclaim oh what a lovely name oh what a lovely name the name of jesus reaching higher far than the brightest star oh it's sweeter than the songs they sing in heaven let the world proclaim oh what a lovely name there's a name above all others so wonderful to hear bless your name lord always bringing hope and cheer the lovely name of Jesus evermore the same glory oh what a lovely name bless your name Jesus oh what a lovely name the name bless your name Jesus 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 we bless your name Lord Hallelujah, glory. Thank you, Lord, your sweet name, oh Jesus. Glory be to your name, Lord. What a lovely name, Lord. Oh, glory, what a lovely name. He shot us. We shot Struggling up the mountain, it seemed that he was sad. His back was laden heavy, his strength was almost gone. Yet shouted as he journeyed, deliverance will come. Then palms of victory, crowns of glory, palms of victory. I shall wear. I saw him in the evening. The sun was sinking low. He'd overtopped the mountain and reached the vale below. 
he saw that golden city, his everlasting home, and shouted loud, Hosanna, deliverance will come in palms of victory. Of glory, palms of victory, I shall wear. I saw him overcoming through all the swelling strife until he crossed the threshold. Oh, hallelujah! The crown, the throne, the scepter, the name, the stone so white. For here's he found in Jesus the yoke and burden lie in palms of victory, crowns of glory, palms of victory. I shall wear then palms of victory, crowns of glory, palms of victory. I shall wear. Hallelujah. Well, he said, I walked on the waters and I calmed the raging seas. I spoke to the wind, it hushed, and I gave you peace. Didn't I run to your rescue? Didn't I hear you when you called? And I walked right beside you just so you wouldn't. Didn't I leave all of heaven just to die for your sins? I searched until I found you and I'd do it all again. As I kneeled in the darkness in the middle of the night, I'm praying for assurance that everything's going to be all right. Lord, I see another battle. It's out in front of me. I'm afraid I won't be able and I'll go down in defeat. He said I walked on the waters and I calmed the raging sea. I spoke to the wind, it hushed and I gave you peace. Didn't I run to your rescue? Didn't I hear you when you called? And I walked right beside you just so you wouldn't fall. Didn't I leave all of heaven just to die for your sins? I searched until I found you and I'd do it all again. He said, do you remember just where I brought you from? Just take a look behind you and how far you come. And every time you ask me, didn't I deliver you? So why would you be thinking that I wouldn't see you through? But he said, I walked on the waters and I calmed the raging seas. I spoke to the wind, it hushed and I gave you peace. Didn't I run to your rescue? Didn't I hear you when you called? And I walked right beside you just so you wouldn't fall. Didn't I leave all of heaven just to die for your sins? Searched until I found you and I'd do it all again. Once again I face Satan. Sunday. 
He's worthy of praise. Hallelujah. 
worship you, Lord, for all of my days. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All I can say is hallelujah. Well, he bled and died on Mount Calvary. He gave his life, oh, just for you and me. He again oh just to set us free all I can say is hallelujah 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 all I can say is hallelujah he is my leader oh yes he my God, he's always with me, and in my heart, he abides, he said that he'd be with me till the end, he is my Lord, and he's my constant friend, hallelujah, 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 all I can say is hallelujah. Lord, in you there's a victory. I praise your name. You're worthy to be praised. I worship you, Lord, for all of my days. Hallelujah! 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 All I can say is hallelujah. Yes, he's worthy to be praised.
Don't give up. Let Jim fix it. He's good at it. Appreciate everybody tonight. All of you been coming. All you that is here tonight, preaching brothers. Everybody's my brother and sister in the Lord. I keep saying that, but if if you're in the Lord, you're my brother. You're my sister. And sometimes I will, we feel closer to the people of God and, and can tell them things than we can our own blood people. You know what I'm saying? In the flesh. And I'm glad that God's people is that way, ain't you? Amen. I tell, I tell Jim something a little funny here. I done told Kay, uh, I asked Luke, is he coming tonight? And Luke said, no, I don't think I will. And I said, I said, you ought to come. He said, I, I'll go tomorrow, Pal Paul, because he said, it ain't regular Sunday school and it's free. <laughs> I said, well, it's free all the time, Luke. He said, ain't you seen that board hanging on the wall? <laughs> I said, well, it's still free. I said, that just represents their offerings, you know. <laughs> he, he got looking at that board and he thought, man, Sunday school costs a lot. <laughs> That's what he's saying. But I thought that was funny. You know, I said, "Why they don't charge nothing?" I said, "Free all the time." I'm glad God's spirit's free, ain't you? Whosoever will, let them come and drink of the water of life freely that flows from the throne of God. Try to sing a song for choke up or quit. Maybe. (laughs) Paul was a man that the Lord could use. But the first he God's way, he did not choose. So the Lord helped him. Will he change his mind? And he saw much better when the Lord struck him blind. What's that you said, Lord? Oh, you talking to me? Blinder I get, well, the better I say. Won't you tell me again? And I'll do it next time. For I see much better since you drove me blind. Well, the Lord told Jonah, He said, Go preach my word. But he acted as if he never heard. But it gets mighty dark in the belly of a whale. And when Jonah got out, you ought to hear him yell. Hallelujah. What's that you said, Lord? Are you talking to me? Well, the blinder I get, well, the better I see. <laughs> Won't you tell me again? And I'll do it next time. For I see much better since you drug me blind. Oh, Peter told the Lord, he said, Lord, I never deny. Wasn't very long He found he told him a lie But he fell on his knees And Peter began to cry And he saw much better When the Lord opened his eyes What's that you said, Lord? Are you talking to me? Well, a blinder I get, hallelujah. Well, a better I say, <laughs> won't you tell me again? And I'll do it next time. For I see much better since you drug me blind. Well, I asked Sue to sing with me. She said, go ahead. So, sometimes she will. 
Sometimes you won't. But you know, God's good, ain't he? He's good. He's He's good. good. I appreciate him, Lord. And I was a bragging today about the service we had last night. Holy Ghost service. Trying to get some of my people hungry. It's hard to get people hungry, seems like, you know. Trying to get them stirred up. And but it's hard sometimes to get them to, to, you know, they've got used to me. And kind of get them, hard to get them stirred up sometimes. But if there ever was a time to get stirred up for the Lord, it's now, ain't it? It's now. Time's running out. If, if time went on for a hundred years, that wouldn't be nothing compared to forever, would it? So time's running out. It's already run out for a lot of people. A lot of people that I know in the past is done gone to meet their reward. A lot of their loved ones is done gone to meet their reward. They run the race. Now they're resting from all their troubles and all their trials. After a while, if the Lord don't come back, we'll have to go that route too. But I ain't afraid in every way. <laughs> Amen. I'm not afraid. If the Lord comes back, I'm going to be ready to rise and meet Him. If He don't come back in my lifetime, and I have to go to the of death, I'm not afraid to die no more. I used to be. I ain't afraid to die no more because He said He would take the sting right out of death. I believe He does. I've seen too many good people on their deathbed. Amen. And the report they left behind was He took the sting out of death for them. Let them see things that the natural eye not, hit, not saw. Hear things that the natural ear had never heard before. But he just opened things up spiritual, Brother John, and let them see and hear. Thank God. If y'all would pray for me a minute, I, I know that I can do nothing without the Lord. Not a thing without Him. But with His help, we can do all things. If He move on us. We appreciate You. Appreciate Your love offerings You give us to help us. Appreciate this revival we've been in up here. The other homecomings come and gone. Almost. And you know time's not waiting on nobody. That You just look at the years and before you know it, they're over. Here it is. September. Summer soon be gone. And it's just traveling fast, ain't it? And even he spoke about the evil times that we'll be in. And he said, for the lake's sake, the time will be short. He said, if, that, if, if not, no flesh would be saved. But he said, for the lake's sake, those days shall be short. And I almost feel like, you know, the years has already been short. Or maybe I'm getting old. I don't know. But back when I was a uh, young teenager, well, before I was a teenager, I couldn't wait till I got 18. Yeah. Then I got 18, I, I thought, man, I get 21 after a while. Yeah. Got 21. First thing you know, I was 24, and then I didn't care after that. You know, it just flew by. <laughs> Amen. But in St. Luke, I thought I'd read familiar scripture. But can't we we can read the same scriptures out of the Word of God and then preach messages, even different messages from God. But but it'd be on the Word of God, but I mean we can we can get something. And I thought in Saint Luke chapter seventeen. The twenty second verse of St. Luke chapter 17, starting there. And He said unto the disciples, the days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, see here or see there, go not after them, nor follow them. For as the lightning that lighteth out of the one part under heaven shineth 
and to the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in His day. But first must He suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. And as it was in the days of Noe, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sowed, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even this shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day he which shall be upon the house top and his staff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him, uh, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you in that night there shall be two men in the one bed and the one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinded together and one shall be taken and the other left. Two men shall be in the field and the one shall be taken and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, tither will the eagles be gathered together. Amen. I was reading this, you know, and, and I began to think, you know, that it was an evil time back then. Man had departed from worshiping God in spirit and truth, and he looked over the earth, and the Bible said it repented God. So God was sorry that He'd even made man at that time. But I thank God that there was an old man still serving God. I thank God that there was an old man, thank God named Noah, that still from his heart, in the eyes of God, he was perfect. In the eyes of man, probably not. But in the eyes of God, this old man was still seeking the face of God. You know, he said, Be ye therefore perfect, even as my Father which is in heaven is perfect. I know that we'll never be perfect in the eyes of the world. We'll never be perfect in the eyes of all men. But if we'll serve God and do our best from our heart, I believe we can be perfect in the eyes of God. And that's what counts anyway, thank God, is to be perfect in the eyes of God. But this old man served him, so he made a covenant with this old man. Thank God, he, I told him how to build the ark. You know, you know the story. How did he tell him certain wood to use? And, and he wasn't just to use any kind but he was to use the kind he told him thank God and hallelujah he was to build it three stories high and put that one big door in the side he only wanted one window in it his up toward the top because he didn't want them looking down at the flood he wanted them looking up toward the heavens thank God and I thought about tonight we're still like he said in the last days so shall it be like it was then we're in perilous times I've been praying Preaching that. God said, preach, we're in perilous time. God said, preach, we're in dangerous time. God said, there's many departing from the faith and they're giving heed just to seduce and spirit and doctrines of devils. Said, but tell them, I'm still God and I'm still alive and, and I still hold the keys to death, hell, and the grave. Tell them that I'm still able to rise up against Satan and put his power down. I, I Thank God we're in dangerous times uh, when men love uh, to envy and evil things, you know, things that are draw them away from God. Uh, but I'm glad tonight, uh, thank God, there's something I've got down inside like that old man had. Uh, hallelujah, I'm looking up. 
for my redemption come up from above. Thank God Satan would rather we go around looking down. Satan would rather we go around looking down with a, a broken spirit. But God said, look up. Look up. If we look up, our redemption come up down and after a while, hey amen, I don't care if you are having trouble. I don't care if you are heavy laden. If we pray, we can pray our way out of depression, out of trouble. If we pray, thank God, we can pray the Lord off. Hallelujah. If we seek His face. Why? Because that old man made had a covenant to make that ark. Eight souls were saved as by water. The flood came just like that old man preached. hundred and some years he preached. It's coming. People probably laughed at him, probably mocked him, probably made fun of him, but he kept on preaching. It's coming. Thank God after a while God told uh, him and his wife and his three sons, he kept him sons working on that ark. Amen. People said, I'm just going to let my child do whatever they want to. Well, after they get out of our home, uh, we don't have no control no more. But while they're under our, our roof, we need to try to plant seed in their heart. We need to try to bring them up in the right way. Amen. And the Lord said, if we would, uh, they'd not be able to depart from that seed that we put in their hearts. Oh, amen. After they get outside your roof and after you get so old thank God their blood will be on their own head but I'm glad if we bring them up right they know the way and if they know the way thank God it's easier for them to get back when God reaches out his hand for them and he begins to call he kept them boys working upon that ark as he preached thank God and their wives must have stuck with them because they all entered into the ark and the animals he spoke to entered into the ark and they were saved by the same flood that lifted them up above the waters but I'm going to preach tonight that we've got an ark of safety too because of Jesus coming down and because he died for us that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Thank God he's my ark of safety that I can run to in a time of trouble. He's the one I can call upon when nobody that I feel like hears me. I can call on him and he'll hear me. I don't care how late it is at night. I can call on God and He hears me. I don't care how early it is in the morning. I can call on God and He hears me when I call. Amen. His ears is open unto His people. And He hears their cry. He's the same one stood up in the midst of the storm and rebuke the waves and the sea and there was a great calm I've got that same Savior in my heart Jonathan tonight thank God not only am I under ark of safety he's inside of me thank God you know he talked about one time people looking and seeking for the kingdom of God and he said the kingdom of God is already set up in the hearts of my people thank God the kingdom of God set up in our hearts now he's preparing a place for us he's making a great beautiful place but I'm talking about a spiritual kingdom it's set up in our heart he lives in our heart every day when we leave this church house thank God he goes home with us he goes on the job with us amen you go to the grocery store he's there he's everywhere thank God back when I was backslid I go to the store and Sister May Long you meet her out there in the store and I was backslid. I was kind of like some of the rest of them. Sneaking around to the <laughs> next road to try to miss her. She'd catch you after a while, usually. She'd see you. She'd hunt you down before she left that store. And she'd get a hold of your hand and she'd say, are you serving Jesus? 
Do you have the Lord in your heart? Lord, it convict you so bad. <laughs> you backslid, it convict you so bad. After a while, she started dancing in that store. <laughs> she started talking in tongues. Amen. People try to get away from her. Try, you know, I didn't never jerk too much, but I did hope she'd turn me loose a few times. And she'd hold right on. She'd hold right on to you, buddy. Thank God. And, and she's dead and gone. But the testimony goes on. People that's not ashamed of the Lord. <laughs> Woo! They're not ashamed to serve God anywhere. <laughs> Amen. They're not ashamed to hold up uh, his holy name. Uh, glory to God in the same God. Uh, he lives inside of me tonight. He lives inside of us. Oh, how I love Jesus. <laughs> how I love the Lord. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I love him better than I love my wife. And that makes me love my wife. <laughs> Thank God. Woo! Glory to God. <laughs> How I love Jesus. We're living in perilous time, dangerous time, but it's a good time to serve God. We're living in dark times in the world, but He's still a light to our path and a lamp to our feet. Woo! He's still leading us and He's still guiding us. Thank God we're living in a time. Well, the old folks call them something worse than. Gays, homosexuals, old folks had another name for them. Where they come now, they come out of the closets, and now they can marry each other and get a license in a lot of states, pass the laws. That they can marry women, marrying women, men, marrying men. It's still abomination. It's in the word of God. By my nation under God. And it seems they're getting more rights than the people of God is anymore. Oh, yeah. Seems like God's people's losing their rights. Oh, yeah. and, and, and sinfulness is gaining ground. Amen. But it's just Satan's time. Yeah. He's running out of time. Yeah. Thank God that He's working with all that He has. Yeah. He knows His time is just about to run out. And he's trying his best to keep our people lost. And he's trying his best to cause us to go to sleep on God, to quit working on God, and, and to give up on God. He's trying to, but oh, we don't have to listen to him. Thank God we can listen to the Almighty God and He'll lead us through. Oh, thank God God made Adam and He made him in His own image. And He took the woman, thank God, out of man. Thank God. And He said her name should be what? Not Steve. Eve. And it's still the same way, ain't it? It's still the same way. God ain't changed. He's still the same. Thank God. And it's got to be a spirit. It's got to be a spirit that gets a hold of them. Thank God they said he's born that way. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe he's born that way. I believe somewhere they receive the spirit. And that spirit caused them to go that way by listening to it. But they didn't have to in the beginning. And I believe they could be saved if they come to God and let Him get that Spirit out of them. Yeah. Amen. I don't think they can be saved and keep that Spirit, but I believe they can be saved and get that Spirit casted out by the Almighty hand of God. Yeah. Amen. So why do you believe that? Because I, I, He said all sin is forgiven except one, and that's the blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, which hath not forgiven us in this world or the world to come, but they'll have to let that Spirit Amen. Be casted out by the Spirit of God and they won't be that kind of person no more. <laughs> Woo! Amen. People said they can't change. Hallelujah. These alcoholics say they can't change, but if they get a hold of God, they change. 
<laughs> Woo, hallelujah. There's people out there doing things in the world that's hooked on dope and different things. Dope's killing our young people and a lot of old people too. But if they get a hold of God, God can get this stuff out of their system. We're living in perilous times and dangerous times and Satan come to kill, steal, and destroy. But the Lord said, I still come to give life. I still come to give life and to give it more abundantly. Oh, glory to God. And I'm glad that he can still do all these things. I thought, I thought, I said the other night a preacher did not name no names or preacher no pre preached for years and got caught driving drunk, got tucked to jail, probably been doing it all the time, just didn't get caught. And somebody said, that wasn't him. That wasn't him, that was the devil. Can't blame the devil for everything. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to yield to the devil. Thank us. Oh, I had a lot of trouble. That's what made me do it. That's why he said, please forgive me. I know God forgives. Yes, He does. Please forgive me. Have mercy on me. I know God has mercy. But I had a lot of trouble. I had a lot of trials. But it don't matter how much trouble and trials you had, we need to take it to God. It ain't a time to give up when we have trouble. It ain't a time to give in to Satan just because we're having a lot of trouble. Ain't it time, you know, to run for something Satan's got to try to make us feel good because we're having trouble? We need to run to God. We run to God and we fall upon God's altar. Amen. Even if we have to grab a hold of the horns of the altar and pray and hang on, after a while He'll come and He'll set us free of anything Satan might be trying to bind us with. Why? Because He's still God. And He still has all power in heaven and earth. And He's still able woo, to deliver and to set free. Still able. I know we, we love our people. We love our children. And it wouldn't matter what they got into. You'd still love them. But you don't have to love what they get into. Pray that God deliver them. Set them free. I know that one time one of my, my older sisters turned into an alcoholic and messed his home up. And... Uh, I got to, I was talking to him, and they said, she said, well, he went to a psychologist, and his grandpa, dad died. Well, that we choose him. Thank God. We don't have to backslide. I did years ago, but I didn't have to. I just got my eyes on the world too much. And, and I got following people. You know, I was young and I thought because I'm young, you know, I got a lot of years to live. God just merciful. I might not, you know, I could have been cut off short. I could have died in my youth. I could have died when I was young. But God was merciful to me. I thought I, I, I have friends. I need to do what my friends was doing. But the best friends of all is somebody that won't live lead you astray. Thank God. The best friends of all is somebody thank God that believes in God. You, I said last night you have earthly friends. We can have sinner friends. I'm glad somebody had mercy on me while I was a sinner and there was a friend to me. We don't have to sin, I said, to be their friend. We don't have to let the people of the world pull us in the world. We're all the world being in the world, but not of the world. We're in it, but not of it. So we can be friends to people that don't know God, but yet we don't have to sin to be their friends. You see what I'm saying? Thank God. And if we're going to help them, that's the only way we're going to help them. The only way we're going to help them is be a light to them and point them toward Calvary. Point them toward the ark of safety and say, you're going to have to choose now. Thank God back then the people had to choose. Was it going to get in the ark of safety or was it going to wait and see if the storm was going to take them? Boy, and he went to 
his people and he begged them to get out of the city. And, and I guess his son-in-law's life did him. Made light of him. And they were, you know, after a while, even the men of the city uh, wanted them angels. You know. Had an evil spirit to them that they lust after the angels. Thanking them to be ordinary men. And they were stranger, stranger men to them. They want straight furs. They don't want crooked ones. They want straight ones to plant their stuff in. And I could do pretty good as long as I kept my eyes straight ahead. But if I got looking around after a lot of old plows start going this way and that, and I looked back and I had the crookedest rows, Dad said, your rose is crooked as folks hind leg. Amen. He said, get back that thing up and catch that and straighten that out. Now, he wouldn't let me leave crooked rows on people. He'd say, back it up, sink that old bull tongue down there and straighten that crook out. Thank God. And that's the way people need to do today. If they got some crooks and bends in their life, they need to back up and get it. Go back to the cross they laid down and get up and begin to run for God again. Get back in the race. Yeah. Amen. long as there's breath in them, there's time that they could get it back in the race. Yeah. They go back and pick it up and run for God. They can straighten that road back out. Yeah. Thank God. Amen. I just hated for Dad to go with me when I was plowing for people. Yeah. Yeah. I just getting... One time I was getting 50 cents an hour. Pretty big money then, I guess. But anyway, Dad made me work for it. I'd stop the rest of that old horse and myself. <laughs> Dad say, Bub, he'd call me Bub sometimes. He said, Bub, you better get that old horse going. It's going to get still funny. <laughs> I was the one getting still. But he worked, you know, when he worked for people, he believed in, 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 in working and earning his pay. And he made me do the same. Thank God. But, you know, that's, that's how we need to do spiritual. It's don't, lag, don't lagger too long. Don't linger too long. Thank God. Because you'll get cold on God if you're not careful. Now, if, when I work... I work every day, you know, in a factory. But when I come home, I'm getting, getting pretty old now. I'm getting 60. I'm 62. But somebody said, "Won't you retire?" Because there ain't nothing there no more. Can't make enough to live on no more. I mean, when you go to Walmart and you carry out $150 in two or three bags, it's hard to live. And your juice bills $200 a month or something like that. And then you got a truck payment and. I tell you, I, I, right now I could retire and get six hundred and eighty something dollars a month, but that wouldn't go too far, would it? it penalized me for used to you could retire at that age and not get penalized, but now you get penalized now. Amen. They said I'd have to work till I sixty six to get it all. Thank God, and sixty five to get Medicare. But anyway, I'm glad I got some Medicare. Part. Thank God. I'm glad that God's taking care of me and watching over me. Thank God. But if I got anything to do when I get home, I got to get at it. If I'm going to mow my yard, I got to get at it. I can't sit down. I can't sit down because when I sit down, I start getting stiff. Now, after a while, when I get stiff, I said, Well, I'll put it off to the mar. I said, Sue, that yard will be there when I'm dead and gone. Why worry about it? <laughs> Thank God. Hallelujah. And there's some of it about that high now up on the hill that I didn't get the weed eating done. Thank God. And now the weed eater's tore up and I can't get it done. So, hey man, it'll be here maybe, you know, when I'm dead and gone. Who cares? Thank God. But what I care for most, thank God, is the cooking for God. Amen. I hope that I've planted enough seed and seek the face of God. I hope that I've planted a seed. You know, I pray, God, have I failed you? I preach. I preached up here every night, and other places I preached. And 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 on the way home, I said, "God, did I preach for everything you want me to, or did I get myself somewhere and, and lose some of it? You know, we could lose some of it, 
if we don't stay connected in the Spirit, couldn't we? And I pray, God, if I have, then forgive me. Because I want your seed to be planted. Your seed to be planted. I want to help somebody. Amen. If somebody sits in the midst that would be lost, I'd like to pull them out of the far. Hating the garment spotted with sin, but yet get them to God that it be washed away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to help them that they'll know that there's an ark of safety they can get on. Thank God. That was the spirit and soul that said the heavens. He defeated Satan. He Satan thought uh, killing him for good. But he just gave him life in the end. You know, I've had Satan say, I'm going to kill you. I said, why? You don't you don't want to kill me. You're lying. You might. He wants to kill your spirit first. He'd rather kill your spirit. He'd rather kill Jonathan's spirit first. He would rather for Jonathan to lose the anointing he has to reach people. Thank God. That's what he liked to do. Not just Jonathan. I'm, I'm just using you, Jonathan. He, he wants Will to do the same thing. And... Jim and everybody else. He loved for Jim to come this far and get discouraged and, and, and give up. But he ain't going to. I know he ain't. I got faith in Jonathan. I got faith in God's people. But he loved to kill us spiritual. Kill us You know, get back to God. But if he gets out spiritual, I heard it ain't been long ago that, that Luke had a, his feet were hurt when he runs. A lot. And little Will done that too. He's big Will now. He's, when he was little Will, he'd do that. And his feet would hurt. And he'd cry the night with his feet. And he wants you to rub them. And uh, Luke come and climbed up where I was. And I was on the couch because they wanted to sleep with Granny. <laughs> got pretty crowded. Three of them in there. So I got on the couch. Left her with them. Josh kicks pretty bad. <laughs> and here come Luke crying. Climbed up there and he said, Papa, all my feet's hurting. And I started rubbing them. He said, don't rub them. Pray for them. <laughs> pray for them. And I prayed for him. He quit crying. He went back to bed. About time I went to sleep, here he come crying. So sleepy that we can't get a hold of God <laughs> to help people. He said, time it took a while, Papa. <laughs> it finally happened, but said it took a while. You know, if it don't happen the first time, though, we need to hang on and pray until God comes to the rescue. Amen. He'll come after a while, won't He? Amen. He'll come. Amen. I'm glad I'm in the ark of sea, ain't you? Yes. I'm glad I'm saved. Amen. I'm glad we can leave a good report behind yes. right. that others could say, well, you know, I like to live in such a way they won't have to feel. They can say, I believe he lived a good life, you know. And I said the other night, it's it's kind of like it. If you watch, people have some good and they got a lot of good things to say about it. And I say, give them the roses while they're if you got something good to say about somebody, tell them why they know it. Don't wait till they're cold and still and then say, boy, they helped me and you never will. Give them the roses. Jonathan, you've blessed me. All the rest of you's blessed me. Murray and, and my good cousins has blessed me. The lives they live on my other cousins and people here has blessed me. The life they live before me. Thank God. My, you know, my wife, she has stood behind me. And I've heard people say, I can't live right because of my wife. I can't use this. Because she always pushed me out anyway. You know, when even if I thought, you know, I, I was feeling too bad to go. Thank God I am free, free, free from this world of sin. Be washed in the blood of Jesus. Be born again. I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful grace. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out. Show me the way. Like a bird out of prison. Take it. 
like a blind.